We know that the shoulder can have a lot of abnormalities, especially with age and in some specific population, like overhead at least. And in most cases, physical therapy is a fair time treatment. But on the other side, we don't know all the important things like shoulder pain mechanisms or how to make a correct diagnosis. Unfortunately, we don't have an answer for everything. In response to the current situation about rotator cuff disease, some authors propose to use the definition rotator cuff related to shoulder pain. This is an umbrella term that includes different conditions like vision syndrome, rotator cuff tendinopathy, and symptomatic partial and tooth finger rotator cuff tears. The problem with this definition is it's just it's an umbrella term. This means we don't know how is the clinical problem in a patient with diagnosis of rotator cuff related to shoulder pain. It's just an umbrella term. I remember the first time that I read this comment from Lori and Anne, um, I felt very identified with it. Because I received a lot of patients with medical diagnosis, and to be honest, I criticized the diagnosis. Because I thought they were incorrect. But then I changed my mind. I thought, even with the correct medical diagnosis, I need to make my own diagnosis. A diagnosis that leads me to the correct approach for my patients. If I only know that a story injury, maybe this information is not enough. I need more clinical information. Information for classifying the different shoulder disorders. So, like Anna and Lori say, it's time to abandon the perfect name for shoulder disease. We need to put the focus on movement-related impairment rather than on structural anatomy. Currently, like Lori said before, there are different ways for classifying the different shoulder disorders. For example, mobility disorders, motor control, the concept of irritability, strain, psychosocial factors, among other. And yes, I know they are umbrella terms, but maybe these umbrella terms may try to solve to solution one other bigger problem that is another umbrella term, and this is the shoulder pain. So, as to conclude, we know a lot of things about rotator cuff, but uh, we don't know all the important things like. What does the shoulder heart or how to make a correct diagnosis? The structure based diagnosis may not guide the physiotherapy approach, so we need to make our own diagnosis, the diagnosis that will lead us to the correct approach for our patients. And finally, guys, we should not try to put all patients under the same umbrella that is the rotator cuff related to shoulder pain, because the umbrella will never be big enough to give everyone all of the pain. Last, let me invite you next year to the Argentinian Sport Physical Therapy Congress here in Buenos Aires with great speakers and the best Argentinian hospitality. As you can see, in the last edition, we were very lucky to enjoy Eno Shasha and Peter Mariara, and was paid great speaker for New Zealand. One more time, thanks to the organization. Thank you for your attention. Muchas gracias, Argentina. Cheers. <laughs>